Kathy, I wanted to ask you, since you said that, that you are a buyer on, in some of the market volatility and right now in this market, as it relates to the virus itself, COVID-19, do you have enough visibility and sort of certainty around what's going to happen? Because it feels like there are still so many questions, even though I will say this week was pretty monumental in terms of some of the innovations we got out of companies like Abbott Labs with a five-minute test, J&J &J with a new vaccine candidate. I mean, how do you read all of these headlines and determine where we're going to be in this country and, and what that's ultimately going to mean for our economy and our markets? Well, we also are finding uh, uh, companies that, uh, and have been investing in them for quite some time, that are going to be part of the solution to the problem. So one of our uh, company's stocks is uh, Cirrus. Uh, it's a path pathogen inactivation company. Um, uh, and uh, if you've heard of convalescent uh, plasma, uh, they're going to be part of the solution because they will inactivate any pathogens in the plasma so that it can be injected, infused into other patients. And, th uh, uh, and th this plasma is from patients who have had uh, COVID-19, have recovered, and are d donating their plasma to be cleansed with Cirrus's uh, intercept system and then put into other patients, especially very sick patients, to help them develop antibodies and get their immune system kicking in to fight this thing. So I think that's very important. And yes, you've got Arcturus and, and Moderna on the vaccine side, uh, very important uh, companies. Illumina is the starting point for it. Uh, we could None of these other companies could do any of this if we weren't able to sequence the, the, the genome of this virus, which they were able to sequence in two days as opposed to five months back in 2003 with SARS. So genomics is a big solution to the problem, and it's a, a very large part of the research that we do. There are so many innovative companies in this country working on solutions. Uh, also, Battelle, I wanted to mention, it's an Ohio company that I believe is the first that's going to sterilize the N95 masks for healthcare workers. That got FDA approved today. Huge news. Guys, we've got to leave the conversation there. Thank you for joining us. Stephen Weiss, Kathy Wood, and Nick Colas.